David Broom joining us now on Humboldt State tonight. David, crowd favorite. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. First off, uh, you and Will Petty are from Castro Valley. Uh, Talk about how you guys kind of stumbled upon the North Coast or how Coach Kinder found you guys. Um, we both uh, played in the Lager Classic our, my sophomore and junior year, his junior and senior year. So uh, that's when we found out about Humboldt State. And uh, Kinder came to a game, and the rest is history. We're both yeah, here. Yeah, it's one of those uh, Kinder legendary recruiting yeah. stories. <laughs> All right, now, David, you're what? 5'5", five, five, that's what the program says? Yep. Are you 5'5"? Five, 5'5", five? Five, 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 right. five and a half, somewhere around there. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people would say, and maybe you've heard it before, I don't know, you're too small to be playing basketball. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah, I've heard that plenty of times from middle school to high school. So, uh, height's not an excuse anymore. All right, well, well, how would you not let that discourage you? Because a lot of people, I'm sure, myself included, would just, I mean, I was, I'm like 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 I was figuring I was too short. That's my excuse. <laughs> uh, I mean, speed's my game, so I guess you can't beat speed. So it makes up for the lack of height. Yeah, what's impressive, uh, obviously, you know, at the beginning of the season, you got some some time at the very end of the game, and yeah. I remember one of the games you did a nice shake and bake move to the hole, and the crowd just went nuts. Yeah. But now you're you know seeing a substantial playing time, and just last homestand, I remember, it didn't really show up on the stat sheet, but your speed and your ability to deliver and make things happen, uh, you're really taking a crucial role now yeah. in this team. What's that like? Uh, I mean, it's fun. Uh, sitting on the bench wasn't much fun. It was pretty frustrating, but uh, I mean, I get to ride Zach and practice all the time, so I learned from him and. Just try to limit the mistakes and turnovers in the game, and it's been working out for the last few games. All right, looks like uh, you're a matchup disaster for players, whether it's on offense or defense. <laughs> Offensively, they got to try to keep up with you, and yep. defensively, uh, they lose you all the time. And I see you come from behind, stealing balls. I mean, you've got to be a player's worst nightmare. But tell us about your game. Uh, my game, it starts on the defensive end. Like, offense really isn't important to me. I mean, I try to get guys open. Me and Ernie have been connecting good lately. Uh, but on defensive end, it's just hassle nonstop. As you can see, the other players don't really care for me too much, but that's what makes it fun. Is that a good sign when you got yeah, a guy frustrated, definitely, you know, definitely. you're just totally bothering him? Definitely. When he's going out the game, giving stares and talking mess, it's, I know I'm doing my job. Mission accomplished. Okay, <laughs> you guys, uh, you're on a winning streak right now. You may not know, but I'm sure your teammates who've been here for a while, but you know, Cal Poly Pomona, San Bernardino, this is the biggest home weekend of the year. Definitely. Are you guys ready for what's in store? Yeah, we're definitely ready. We got to, this is going to be a good week of practice and We'll be ready to go come this weekend. Are you guys playing your best basketball right now? Uh, I think we're getting there. We're getting there. There's still room for improvement, but we're definitely moving in the right direction. Are you getting close? Is well, yeah, we're getting Woody's close. Like, okay, they're close. Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he's always going to have something to work on, but I think he's happy where we're at. Do you enjoy being a crowd favorite? Definitely, definitely. Uh, David, thank you so much. No David problem. Broom, don't forget the Lumberjack men and women on the airwaves starting at 515 Friday and Saturday. It's tomorrow and Saturday on ESPN Radio 1340 AM. Hey, want to thank the sponsors, Humboldt State tonight. The show is uh, like a locomotive heading through the uh, North Coast airwaves, and our sponsors are Coast Central Credit Union, where belonging never felt better, Miller Farms, Del Rica Distributing, who brings you Miller Lite to the North Coast, Bear River Casino, and Schaefer's Ace Hardware and Schaefer's Fine Furniture. I want to thank all of our guests. Don't forget Jack's Basketball tomorrow night at Lumberjack Arena. I'm J.B. Mathers.